Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a treat for your winter white dwarf hamster. And today we're going to be making oatmeal cookies. And right now I'll show you what the oatmeal cookies look like. Okay, so first thing you're going to want is an egg. You're going to crack the egg and put it in the bowl. So the egg's in. Just throw it in the sink. And the next thing you're going to do is get some peanut butter. I have Peter Pan peanut butter, but it's better if you use um, um, like the organic versions. But all I have right now is the pita pan. And you're gonna want about a teaspoon of that. A little, just a little at a time so you don't add too much. So I'm gonna try to like hit it out. This may be a little hard because the peanut butter is sticky but it will be good at the end. We can get all in it. We're just gonna add a little bit more so we don't run out. Um, so what you're gonna do is get a bit more. I'm not using all of this, but I'm just gonna get about half of that. And then just scoop it up. Okay, so we're good with the peanut butter. So I'll be right back when we're when we're done with the peanut butter and the spoon is all cleaned up so we can use it for the next part. Okay, so this is what it should look like. It looks kind of gross, but you're just gonna need to mix that up really well. You can use a fork for this since forks break up the egg. And it can break up the peanut butter too. Well, that's good enough. I'll just mix it after I'm done adding the oatmeal. So the next thing you're gonna do is open up some oats. I have some oats, they're whole grain, and I'm just going to put them in my mixture. You're gonna need 12 teaspoons. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's good for now, and then you're just going to mix it up with the egg. It may look a little weird, but it's going to look better soon. Okay. Your next step you're going to do is get some milk and then pour it in. Right in a second, I'll tell you the measurements for Okay, this. so it's kind of supposed to look like an oatmeal type mixture. As you can see here, I just added a bit more peanut butter and some oats to make it a bit more thick, but not too thick. So you're just gonna mix that till it's all ready. And I'll be right back when I'm done mixing. So you're gonna fill each of your cupcakes with these little wrappers and try to fill all of them up. But if you can't, it's fine. You only have a few treats. So some, I'm just going to have to do it with it. So, just this, oh no, it almost fell. Okay, so you're just going to keep filling these little cupcakes up. And these, well, I meant these are cookies. They're not cupcakes. I mean, you can call them cupcakes, but they're not the consistency of cupcakes. So, I want to call them that. Um, so... I'm just going to keep filling these up till they're all full. And then we'll put them in the oven. So I'll be right back from filling them up. 
the cookies at 325 for 15 minutes and let cool for 40 minutes. Now your hamster will have a lot of fun eating her cookies and my hamster really enjoyed it. So comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.